When you think about legacy and the legacy of Black America, our traditions were in our recipes, in our ingredients. We were able to be great farmers and, and take that food and actually make it into a business. And to also make it something that to me is one of the most important cultural identity markers of the African-American um, tradition. And that's soul food. You know, food is the first introduction that people have to another culture. Being able to be a part of this Sylvia's legacy, this Harlem legacy, this culinary legacy, that's something that we take a lot of pride in. Hi, I'm Trinez Woods Black, queen of hospitality and granddaughter of Sylvia Woods, the queen of soul food. Sylvia started cooking when she was seven years old. Her mom was a midwife and a farmer in a little town of Hemingway, about 50 miles from Myrtle Beach. She met her husband, my granddad, when they were 11 and 12 picking beans. She says she knew. She was like, that is going to be my husband. That's going to be my husband. Some years later, that ended up becoming true. In 1944, they moved to 131st Street in Harlem. So when it got to New York, this young couple just trying to make it in the big city, doing odd jobs. My grandfather driving taxi. My grandmother was working out in Queens in the factories and she hated it. So she passed by Johnson's Luncheonette, which one of her friends worked there and she saw a help wanted sign. Although she had no restaurant experience, she told Mr. Johnson, if you give me this job, I promise I'm going to be your best employee. He bet on Sylvia, gave her the job and she became his best employee. She was waiting tables, worked her way up to cooking, to managing multiple restaurants that Mr. Johnson had. Then in 1962, Mr. Johnson decided that he needed to sell the restaurant. And he offered Johnson's Luncheonette to, to my grandmother. And on August 1st, 1962, Sylvia's restaurant was born, it was 35 seats. And present day, over 60 years later, the restaurant takes up an entire city block and can accommodate 400 people. Sylvia's restaurant was the largest minority employer in Harlem for close to 50 years. We were the first restaurant, black restaurant, to have a nationally distributed line of food products that actually bared the face of the owner for over 25 years. I am Chef Marcus Woods. I am the third generation of Sylvia's Restaurant and um, Sylvia was my grandmother. So this is my house and this is the famous Soul Food Kitchen. I've been cooking in this restaurant since I was a little kid. The way I was taught was natural, that it was just what our family did every day, not just on Sundays, it was every day that either grandma or auntie or mama was making something for everybody to eat. And we all put love into the food and that's what really soul food is about. Putting love into every ingredient and caring about the people that you are cooking for. Sylvia has always put a big emphasis on us for taking care of the community because the community has always taken care of Sylvia's. Growing up, Sylvia's, being a part of this, this amazing institution, is that we have had a front row seat to the changes and the evolution of one of the most historical, culturally significant Black communities in the world, which is Harlem. You know, my grandparents, when they moved here in the 40s, things was really different. It was thriving, you know? And then, the 60s rolled around. Entrepreneurs in a community started to be plagued by, by drugs, drugs that were actually pumped into the community. Then after that, you started seeing the dilapidation of the apartments. The landlords that did not look like us, they just left. 
they abandoned the properties. They didn't keep them up. You know, they just would send someone to collect the rents, but they never reinvested into the community. So Harlem became some place plagued by poverty, plagued by drugs and violence, plagued by a lot of hurt. One of the things that my grandmother would often speak about are the riots that happened after King was assassinated and how you just had a community that was just in pain and they set out to express themselves in the only way that they felt empowered, burning down the businesses that were in the area. And although Harlem was on fire, Sylvia's was untouched. Everything around us was smoldering, but the community made sure that Sylvia's was, was untouched. My grandmother made sure that she kept the door open. She was there for the, for the community. And it's just a, a true testimony to what she meant to Harlem and what Harlem meant to her. I'm proud of my family's business. Part of my contribution to the business is building upon the legacy, the part that I've been entrusted with is to continue to create platforms and advocate for more diversity in the hospitality industry. Sylvia is, is the perfect example of being black owned, being black run, and having a complete black legacy.